hello 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 wherever you are on this magnificent planet called earth i hope you are having a thought provoking day evening or night welcome to the channel where i like to go over blended topics our topic for this series is using the compositor now i want you all to know I'm not no compositor expert. I'm not no compositor guru. Because I've been using Blender since version 2.76. But I only used the compositor once. Only once. I didn't feel it. I never saw no need for it until now. Especially when I know I can uh, make the compositor animation. A topic for the day. I want to go over the lens distort node. So let me pull up my little scene. Here's my little scene in the camera. I, I was driving when I was driving today to Micro Center, where I live at here in Maryland. I saw them, the guys on construction work on the street, and I saw the uh, what's I don't know what's what, what in the world is the machine called? The um the gravel digger, the concrete breaker, yeah. The, the thing that dig and break the concrete easily. I said, let me see if I can model that. And as you all see, I meant low potty model. But, I, but, but as I said a thousand times, hey, if I can model this thing a low poly, I guarantee you, if I put my might into it, I can make it look real realistic. But I don't like to go that far. I should have made it a little bit more wider too. Let me let me highlight this. Hey, I'm gonna scale it on the X a little bit. Oh, let's collect. Oh, what this scale X? I'll make it a little bit more. Why? Yeah, okay, that look a little bit more. Okay, right, okay it looks a little, more, a little bit more impressive now. Yeah, it looks more, a little bit more impressive, like it does in the street. I could have made this part thinner, but hey, because you all just now saw I scaled it, so I cannot make the uh, the hook thing then. But you get the idea. Like I said a thousand times, at least I'm not using Harold the Cube or the Plane or one of the base meshes. You all know I do have some skill at using Blender. Let's jump right into the compositor now. Okay, I click on the compositor. All right, we're in the compositor. It already is already set up for me. So, but I'm gonna walk you through what I like to do. How I like to set it up. Hold on. All right, I've gotten out the habit of using the uh, viewer node. If you like using the viewer node, be my guest and use it. I like using something that I saw a person using on uh, YouTube. He went to, he clicked there. He, he went, he went, he clicked on the editor type. He chose image editor. Why is it so big? Oh my God! Let me go back to. The, let me go back to my why is this thing so big I'll go back to the uh, the note editor oh I'm back into the compositor let me click over here let me try this again okay good that's what I want a little, a little lower screen let me render this you can you don't have to hit F12 you don't have to go to render to render anymore if you but you can if you want to for me we'll say relay right to the right of it that little folder looking thing is hard to see because it's very tiny yeah that look but look like a little clipboard i click here my scene gets rendered you know it takes a couple seconds for it to render mm. it's taking longer than i thought it's more than a second here why is it taking so long to render it, Okay, it's there. I don't know why it took him so long time. I got a little simple scene right there. I, I'm gonna choose. Click on this down arrow. Choose when the result. There it is. You just use the mouse key to scroll in and out. And then I can do it like this. Cause I just need to. See. All right, so I give it myself more composite real estate. All right, from what I, my sample before making a video using that lens distort is a straightforward node. 
no razzle, no dazzle. It's not as difficult as as that display snow. So I'll go up here to add, go to distort, and just choose a uh, lens distort. Put it right in there. Since I'm using lens distort, I'm gonna zoom right in on. I can put this uh, and if you want to, what by the composite, you see a little teeny triangle pointing down. Click on it. it should minimize it. It should also. I'm gonna go right over to layer. Click on that little triangle, aim it down, yeah, and make it small. All right, that's good. So I can zoom into this a little bit more. I can put these. Yeah, I can zoom right into it, so we can work on. It. And that's the reason why I like using this uh, image real better than a compositor. Oh, I'm sorry, than the real layer. If I kept zooming in, I don't know how that real layer would look. It would probably be I'll be zooming in and out to that too, or making a whole a lot of adjustments. I definitely know I would make a lot of adjustments to it. Let me open up a little bit more. Okay, so we got this. The lens distort. So let's see what happened. I can click on projector. I don't know what it does yet. I'm just gonna hit on this. I'm gonna take it off the I'm not even gonna put it on nothing yet. Alright, so we see what it's doing. Lens distort acts like an actual lens. I distort to one. I'm gonna distort to zero. Then it should go back to its normal square. Let me see. See that normal square look. I take it up to I take it up to three or two. Give it some time to um you see that? It takes it and makes it look like you're looking through a lens. That's all it's doing. It's making it look circular. Let me put it back to zero. Zero. What does dispersion do? I'm gonna give it a, a bigger number like dispersion. Oh, let me click on dispersion. One. Okay, nothing happened. Oh yeah, it's rendering. Is that forty-seven percent? That's taking a long time. Sixty-seven percent. I forgot we got to render. Every time we make a change, it's gonna render. Okay, so it has a slower uh, circular lens effect. If we look at the edges right here. You see, it did something to the edges. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna make it higher. I'll take it at five. All right, it's rendering again, but it's, it's doing it a little bit quicker this time. Fifty-two. You see it right at the bottom. What my number is? Seventy percent now. We shall see what it does. I don't see nothing happening. Let's take it to 10. I'll take it to 10. I'll let it. Oh, it's rendering faster though. Let's see what happened. That's 80%. Alright, so it's not doing nothing else. But you probably have to work, work with dispersion. And uh, distort in conjunction. I should check that out and see what happened. I had it on one before that. Now I'm, I'm gonna put the distort back on one. All right, that's a big effect. Now I'm, I'm gonna put dispersion on two. Let's see, uh, it's rendering. Let's see what happened. Okay, so it don't. So dispersion, I don't think it's do much, but you can play around with it like I was and see what happened. They don't send. Oh, I, got, I guess we gotta learn more about that. I'm gonna click on projector. Okay, well, I wonder what's. I, I, I gotta research that. I don't know what the word that projector do. Oh, this is applied in horizontal direction only. Okay. Jitter. Is it gonna make a little bunch of little dots here or something? I put it on five. Just do it to five. Well, I guess the max value may be one. Okay, it's rendering. All right, it don't matter. I'm putting it on twenty. All right, I think the max value may just be one. I put it on fifty. What does it? It don't hurt. It don't hurt. Okay, the max value for the distort 
is apparently 1. I'll bring it down to 0 0.5. I'll bring it down to 0 0.1. 1 10th. One ten. Okay. And I'll change my distort to uh, 5 temps. Or dispersion to 5 temps. Oh, it's adding a little bit of color there. I see the, that bluish color. I add it to 0 0.05. Let's see what happens. All right, that's nice. To the dispersion, give it a little bit. Now it looks more rectangular. So I, I, want, I, I guess the max value may be one. I'm going to put five back in here. Five. Yeah, so the max value may be one. All right, let's do ten in here just to do it. Just to go over it once more. There's one for that. I'm going to put it back on five temps. I'm going to take it off a of jitter. Okay, that didn't have no effect on it. I wonder what fit does. Alright, okay. So I guess fit just make sure it fits that. Uh, it just make it rectangular again. Let me take this to one. I'm gonna take the one. Oh, it made it larger too. Let me see. One. All right. Fit. I'm gonna take it to point five. All right. I'm gonna take it to ten and see what happens. All right. So I guess the max max value. Yeah, the max value for the store is one. So fit just seemed like it might zoom in. Let me take it down some. It does zoom in. I don't think it go to the, the negative points, does it? Let's see if it go to negative. Oh, it does go to negative. Let me type in negative one. So that's the thing about these. Uh, but it still got my my front part here. It looks large. I put negative five temps, negative point five. Let it render is rendering thirty seven percent, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty percent. Okay, so negative numbers does have a weird effect. Okay, I guess this big part right here is that is that top, the the, the, the part where the uh, smoke come out. I should have made. All right, so we got an idea that I, I, I'm going to take it off of the fit and see what happens. All right. All right, it's rendering 30, 40, rendering 50, 60, 70%, 80%. All right, so I can say, I guess that's it for the just now, my good people. Like always, I'm going to run me a little animation with this. See, it's, you know, animation, that's the most impressive part. Not just watching it right here when we're typing a bunch of numbers. Because when you become a 3D artist, you know, the main thing you always do is make an animation. So, I'll be right back in several moments. Let me make my animation. Be right back. I'm back. Thank you for your monumental ability to be patient while I uh, uh, rendered my video. Before I begin, I want you to know this. See, when I was in that compositor, you really couldn't see the effects in, like, in quick motion. Right now, you're getting ready to ha see the effects in quick live motion. And now it does look like it's a camera distortion. Here we go. See? It looks like there is an actual camera distortion. The uh the crane is like it's like it's being distorted towards you and distorted back. So and remember my good people, as I always kept saying. 
over and over that original scene that original uh my original mesh was never touched in a compositor so as we keep going on and on you all will realize the beauty and the majesty of the compositor like I'm realizing if you enjoyed this video if it was insightful they give you ideas about the lens to distort let me make sure I said it right distort yeah the lens distortion uh, no give me a thumbs up if you have any comments about how you use the lens distortion note leave a comment if you'd like to subscribe for future comment because you all see if you've been watching my videos I'm on a roll with these nodes I'm starting to like doing this subscribe until the next time dear